Let me ask you a quick question. How many people today told you that you suck, that your marketing is bad, that your video was crappy, that your offer is priced too high, that you're not trying to market the right way, that your sales process is not good, that you should give a bargain, or any other form of criticism, negative comments, hating, whatever it may be. If you're not getting any of those, it does not mean you're perfect. It actually means that you suck. And here's why. Whenever you take massive action in life, whenever you really go for it in terms of your sales, your marketing, anything you're trying to make an impact, you're going to attract haters. You're going to attract people who have negative things to say, who want to voice their negative opinion. And most people, I would assume 80% of the people on earth are inherently negative critical, uh, very average thinking. So if you're not getting negative attention, if you're not getting criticism, and I'm not saying from your customers, I'm saying from people who have not bought your product, what that means is you're not getting enough attention right now. You're not making the right moves to actually make things happen. In the company that I work with, we make an excess of $10,000 a day in revenue. And what we do is we market hard. And every day, I have an indicator. How many complaints, how many people uh, complained today, talked, said this is not okay, criticized this, hated that. And if the number is zero, what we do is we hit the list again and again. And we would do more videos and we send more offers because if I didn't get any negative attention, what that means is I did not get enough attention. Because again, for every positive person, there's usually about five negative people. So if you're not getting criticism, you're not even getting enough attention to attract the right people. So start as a matter of a rule in your company, in your business, actually counting how many people criticized you today, how many people hated on you, how many people just wanted to make you stop working, just wanted to put you down. And if the number is zero or low, it's not good. It's not good at all. What it means is you have not taken and taken enough action to actually produce an impact. Because remember, if you double the number of haters, you also double or triple the number of admirers. So hate always comes before the good attention. Hate always comes before you get the sales. And if you're not getting any hate, again, you're not truly on the edge of your potential. So right now, start counting. Make a number and count every single day. How many people criticized me? How many people hated on me? How many people had something negative to say about what I'm doing? And if that number is zero, you need to increase the amount of actions that you're already doing. If you send one email a day, start sending two emails a day, and then three, and then four, and keep moving, keep taking action until you start seeing the hate because what will happen if you can persevere, if you can sustain the hate, is suddenly you're gonna get admiration and you're gonna get a lot more sales. And I wanna close this with one really cool example, is uh, we made a viral video. And in the video, the owner of the company uh, is dressed as if he's being uh, captured by ISIS. It's a very provocative video and it got a lot of people really pissed off. And what happened was this video got to about 600,000 views. We spent about $8,000 just to promote it. And we got so much hate, about a thousand negative comments from people, even our own community, the, the customers that we already have. were like, this is bad, take it down, it's not good. And of course, some people admired it. Some people were really happy about it. What happened this month uh, when we did that, when we did that video is we got more than a million views in total, more than a million reach of people that we touched using this video. The amount of comments, shares, uh, discussions, engagements about our company increased 10 times um, and the amount of hate and the amount of sales also increased. But with all the hate, with all the negative comments, how many customers did we end up losing? The answer is zero. We did not lose a single customer from that ordeal. So remember, you, have, you gotta have a thick skin and you gotta remember, if you're not getting hate, you're not moving forward. So start counting the hate and creating it and use it as your best indicator for your marketing if it's effective or if it's just barely grazing the skin. 
This is me, Robbie Frank. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you loved the video. And also check out my book, Evolution of a Maniac on Sale, which details my life story and the biggest epiphanies that I've reached in my life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.